case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1979, a heated dispute over a contract for the purchase of 100 shares of corporate stock led to a case involving B&B Equipment Company and John A. Bowen. The case set a precedent in Missouri, proving that a breach of an employment agreement, material in nature, could result in the rescission of other contracts that are dependent on it. The saga began when Bowen, who was previously terminated from his job for engaging in outside business activities without giving his full-time commitment to his employer, declined an offer of $9,656 that B&B Equipment offered to rescind the contract. This triggered a lawsuit, where B&B leveled financial and professional misconduct allegations against Bowen, accusing him of failing in his obligations in maintaining appropriate corporate records and handling his bookkeeping responsibilities. The feud between B&B &B and Bowen escalated further, developing into a counter-lawsuit where Bowen persisted in asserting the contract's validity and his right to purchase the disputed shares. The elaborate courtroom battle can be traced back to a 1968 oral agreement involving the Brayman Tractor Company. After selling their company shares, the Braymans were replaced by Bowen, a seasoned industry professional who agreed to purchase 100 shares of stock at the same price B&B &B had offered to the Braymans, $15,000. A ruling in favor of B&B &B by the trial court resulted in Bowen taking his arguments to the appellate stage, appealing the judgment by claiming his unjust discharge from the company. Despite the appeal, the court held that Bowen's breach of the employment terms constituted a material breach, allowing B&B &B to nullify the entire contract. However, in an intriguing turn of events, the court did rule that B&B &B must refund Bowen for income tax he paid on undistributed corporate earnings. The case was returned to the trial court to calculate this tax repayment. In the end, it was decided that this tax amount would be added to Bowen's initial capital stock payment, and the combined amount would then be repaid in full by B&B. &B. Thus, even though Bowen did not succeed in his appeal, the judgment provided a partial victory by affirming his right to a refund on the income tax he had paid earlier. This consequential dispute demonstrated the high stakes and complex dynamics implicated in cases of alleged breach of contract and professional misconduct. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.